Man, fam. Are you singing along? Camera, oh, this is gonna stick in my head, you know. All week now, I'm gonna be singing, You're not a bad man, fam. If that has been happening to you as well, make sure to leave a like on this video. What do you mean? Why did they look like that? With my same fucking team. Why did they look like that? Why did they look like What do you mean? Welcome back. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the diss track that I've put out the other day. Big disclaimer, big, big, big disclaimer. I know I am not a rapper. I mean, four hours in the studio compared to years of practice video directing. I think I know what my strong points are as well, but I thought I'd step out of my comfort zone and try to make a track and also get involved in diss track season. But anyway, I've been dying to see your guys' reactions. I've been reading all the comments and it's been a mix of good and bad comments. By that, I mean some of you totally understood the vibe that I was going for and sort of the comedy route that I was heading down. Uh, some people just didn't get it or found it a bit cringe, which is fair enough. I was being super cringe on purpose. Personally I feel with the previous diss tracks everything went a bit sour and too serious so I thought I'd come into the scene and you know lighten the mood up a bit. So if you did have a bit of a laugh watching the video um, that's great and if the hook stuck in your head then I'm really sorry because it's a terrible terrible rap. But anyway today we're going to be doing reactions and I've picked out a couple. So first on our list is the main man himself Jallo, then we have Randolph, then we have Crypt. I mean Crypt reacted to it, he's like a really really good rapper so I hope he doesn't slate me off too much. Then we have um, FTO TV, I'm curious to see their reaction and we have Dwayne TV as well. Number one on our list, Jallo. Before we get into this video um, also, I want to shout out some of these first people that commented on yeah, my yeah, last video. Yeah, get your promo in, mate. So, if you want me to include you in a video like this, make sure you know, to put my notification on. audience engagement and all that. Something I don't do enough on my channel, but I love you guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit you know that what? notification bell, follow me on Instagram. There you all go, that mate. Stuff. But today, I'm excited. And that this track was basically to Constantine. 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 Whatever. There, you said it right the last time. you want to call yourself, because... I don't really know how to say your name, but he's KSI's cameraman for music videos. So people in the comments were saying, oh, Rand I'd like to keep it as director. But anyways, he has finally, after all this time, I don't have a watch on, but after all this time, come back with a diss track. Yeah, because uh, I've been busy. <laughs> this green screen stuff took a, a while to edit. It took about two and a half days to edit. Plus, I had other projects that I was working on. <clears throat> Beerus. If you do want to see the Beerus behind the scenes, uh, do head over to my channel and click that. I've literally just uploaded that the other day. Let's see how he takes it. We back. We back. Can't take criticism. At green screen, yeah. He's feeling it. Man came with a green screen, you know. What you couldn't, you couldn't afford to leave your house, but. What do you mean? You set the thing up to say zero pound budget. I tried to stick to that. I don't even rap. Don't even rap. All right, so right off the bat, I want to give it, I, okay, so cool, he doesn't rap. I want to give him props for saying that. So I was actually going to go into this thinking like, I'm, I'm going to break down bars. I'm going to like, let's see how he, so I'm going to go into this now thinking that he's just doing this for fun. It's diss track season. He got this. He figured, F it, yo, let's just respond. Man, there's one thing that you're going to understand. They're bopping Wait, along. Sorry to stop it, guys, but I'm just going to say, that obviously Jallo and Constantine are camera guys. So mm. that's probably why we're seeing a lot of like the lights and yeah. the camera stuff. And yeah, anyway, let's see how it looks. You're not a bad man, fam. Why? You're the cheese camera man. Woo. There's one thing that you gotta understand. Okay, so first of all, the editing on this is phenomenal. Like I'm very impressed. It reminds hey. me of like an epic rap battle sort of editing style. Rap plus, you know, it's it's obviously Epic rap battles. I used to watch them a lot. Maybe that's where I sort of kept that in the back of my mind and taken inspiration from, I guess. <laughs> bro, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, as expected, this, I'm, bro, I can't, hey, this video is flipping sick. I told him to come with no budget. He came with no budget and the video is sick, so. Yeah. I caught him out there, look at that. He's feeling that. <laughs> Oh, he used to beef with Deji. See, I don't know much about Jallo. I gotta, I gotta like dive in and figure all this out. Oh, is this, is this him saying without him, you wouldn't have like him telling Deji without KSI? He would, bro. Oh. I love the whole Russian vibe, man. This is sick. Uh, look at him. He looks, ah, uh, Khan, you're a legend, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this. Jallo did a diss track at Deji. And he like went on for like a while as well, like a long time just dissing Deji. And now, and now he's Deji's bitch. So acting crazy, looking like a Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel like he didn't write this? Yo, with all this green screen, I thought he was gonna do like some dope, like trace over his body thing. That would have been kind of sick, I'm just saying. I wish I could go more in on the video, but then it would have been delayed for another week and people just didn't have the patience. He didn't, he didn't write this. Con, please tell me you wrote this because right now I'm smelling. I'm smelling a bit of Randolph Ghost right in the corner. Nah, 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 nah. I've not helped him with the audio or the writing or the lyrics for any of this. I imagine some of you guys will think I did, but I didn't. Copy my style, but you still can't chase me, son. Ooh. That's actually a sick bio, you know? Copy my style, but you still can't trace me. Like, you know, tracing paper. It's got him thinking. That's, that's I like lit. this. Little man, stop acting crazy. Looking like a disco, AJ Tracy. Wow. You've been watching. He does. <laughs> He does, he actually does, that's mad, that's crazy. <laughs> you know what, I want to lie. I can teach you how to edit, I can teach you how to rap, I can teach you how to film, I can teach you all of that. Cause I seen your work and that shit was whack. Calling Straight to the out, point. You don't want me on a track. You can teach me stuff when it comes to like, production and stuff, but when it comes to rapping bro, take, take it off. You, you can't teach when it comes to that man, you can't. I'm fully, I'm f honestly guys, I'm just taking the b here. I, I know I can't rap. <laughs> Oh crap, Russian. Alright, I'll translate it for you guys. Basically, I say, oh, where have the lights gone? Uh, what happened to the music? I'm not done yet. That's it. Hey, he's buffing along. He's buffing along. I rate that. I rate that. I didn't react to Jello's track originally, but I don't know why he was coming at Con saying that Con can only work with big budgets. That's obviously not true. I mean, my, my track was a small budget. Obviously, this one, Con's just shooting himself. But yeah, I don't know why he's saying you work with big budgets is a diss. Like, if you're in the film industry, that's what you want to do. That's what you aspire to do. You working with big budgets is literally you making it. Like, you've done bits to be able to get to that stage. Well said, well said. I do, the reason I do YouTube and I'm in the YouTube scene is because I love to be hands on and be filming myself. So not only am I capable of doing the big budgets, I also have a lot of fun, you know, filming stuff myself. I've done countless amounts of vlogs. I've done a lot of videos, a lot of low budget, no budget music videos as well. And I think the main, the main thing to take at the end of this is if you have fun doing it, then that's what it, that's the position you want to be in really but i tell you what the big budget videos are good for so they're, they're great for for example if you have an idea in your mind like i saw that show on netflix maniac and i love that tv setup that they had there so for me to do that in my own video i'd have to source the tvs from somewhere and the only way you're going to do that if you spend a bit of money so that's where that budget comes in thinking you're sick on instagram begging big shack to the put in that you put in the shameless Instagram plug right there. Follow me on Instagram. You put in the plug. As we're plugging, follow me on Instagram. Oh my God, uh, he done it. Man it? came with the grills. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Yes. Oh. Hey, Amazon. Thank you. You can you can get anything on Amazon these days. Nothing because you're rubbish. Big shack just eat your nuggets. Great lyrical lemonade. You're a joke. Just vending, but your vending machine's broke. Oh. Ooh. Uh, Thanks for the free promo there. Dude. <laughs> so for anyone that didn't understand that bar, Lyrical Lemonade is a, a pretty cool channel where they make music videos and yeah, they just make dope content really. And obviously Jello's taken inspiration from that and he's got a company called uh, Just Vending, which you might as well check out by now. Yes, free promo, mate. But his logo is suspiciously close to the Lyrical Lemonade style. So I said, ah, oh, you're like the fake lyrical lemonade. Obviously, you're going to take more offense into something, you, you know, you're trying to start up and develop. So I knew that would hurt him a bit. But you know what? Do your thing, Jalo. Do your thing, man. Like I said, this diss track season isn't that deep for me. I'm doing it only purely for the comedy factor. So I'm not trying to stop anyone from, you know, trying to grow. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> he liked that Bro, one. Bro, I can appreciate, I can appreciate this, okay? It's so simple, but it's so funny. Like, I am enjoying myself so much right now. Jallo, I'm sorry, I know we're cool and everything, but dude, this is too funny. It said you looked like the thing from Men in Black, and they put the picture up next to it, and you look just like it.
I feel like in this verse he tried to actually drop some bars and they weren't completely functional or like put together very well. But I give him props still. I like I still I like the when he goes like this, the funny stuff more. I like I'll take that, I'll take that. I always rate someone who even even Jalo, to be fair, I know Jalo is not like actual artist, so it's always sick to see people actually come on tracks and do their thing. <laughs> and I know you guys are gonna say that's what I do as well, but music's like been my main thing since I was like 10 years old so yeah i film videos for jj but i'm not like, i'm not an actual camera guy i just vlog i just make i make videos like i do on my youtube with jj so but anyway talking about con here like it's sick for, for con this is really really good oh i appreciate that thank you i mean my my main aim with this was just to have fun and also entertain the audience because i feel like the previous diss tracks like i said got a bit too serious so i wanted to release something a bit more light-hearted with more comedy vibes. So I'm glad that this is coming across. You're not a bad man, fam. Are you singing you're along? Camera, man. Oh, this is going to stick in my head, you know. All week now, I'm going to be singing, you're not a bad man, fam. If that has been happening to you as well, make sure to leave a like on this video. Thinking you're sick on Instagram. Hey, nice plug from Con, getting his Instagram in there. <laughs> I literally paused on this page just to plug his and then my own Instagram. <laughs> At Randolph UK. Go check. All right, that's gangster movements right there. <laughs> he even matched the 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 font. He tried to match the font and the color. I rate that. <laughs> I like that. And the shadow of the font as well. Hey, you know what? Follow Randolph on Instagram. Wanna be rappers? Isn't that what your boss is? Uh, to success, you can call me the lock. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Is he, does he keep dissing Big Shaq? Yeah. <laughs> For what reason? What's Big Shaq done to him? Yeah, I've done anything, but that's the whole diss track. Thank you. Sure, you're not a bad man, fam. fam. You're yeah, just camera man. man. There's one thing that you gotta understand. <laughs> I feel like you, bro, he's got me singing along. He wins. I, I give it up. Really hey. Hey. But what I will say is that he could have done with Jallo dressing him up. Like how Jallo dressed up Digi. Let me explain the different outfits. I think there's just two main looks. First main look was to replicate the roadman puffer jacket type of stereotype and put my own spin on it by wearing the Russian hat. Second look, I wanted to dress up as a typical dad. You know, fanny pack, checkered shirt, beige trousers. Think Alan from Hangover. So yeah, the outfits, I did think about them. Oh yeah, and I had the big fur coat as well, like Puff Daddy type of style. Sorry bro, the video is sick, but that Millie Rock there was, that Millie Rock there was poor bro. What's that Millie Rock, bro? I know my dancing skills are bad, right? I've admitted this in the past. I'm just trying to have a laugh with it, all right? No, fair play. I called him out to do a nobody video. The guy done it in his room. And fair play to you, mate, as well. You've taken this very well. I like this. I like this. Oh, that was sick, man. Yo, Con, I know you're watching this. Fair, fair play. Fair play, man. You done bits. Like, I'm glad you took your time with it as well. I know you've been busy recently. Uh, you guys will see why. Beerus. A few days, but yeah. If you to actually get this done uh, in the way you did as well. The green screen was sick. There are a few things here and there, obviously, but now nah, I think you sound good on the, on the mic. We should, we should do a track. You know what? Maybe, Randolph, maybe we can do a thing where I do a track and you film the video. Like, a little Freaky Friday situation going on there. How about that? Right, make sure to tweet us, guys, if you want us to do that, because I think that could be quite a funny video. It will be so tragic, though. The song will be rubbish, and the video will be rubbish. The beat is hard. I like the beat. That's, that's a, that's, that's like an NSG yeah. kind of notes beat. Yeah, it's like a, it's a, yeah, it's like a notes beat. Yes, you're right. So the website that I got the beat from, it actually has tags that say, oh, this is like a notes type of beat or a Skepta type of beat. And this was a notes type of beat, so spot on. Okay, so I can most certainly appreciate that. That gave me a really good laugh. Mm. I loved it. I really did love it. Great job. Honestly, great job. I bet all you lot thinking, Con, don't don't try to rap anymore, please. Don't worry, I'm not. I'm going to stick to video directing, but awesome compliment, Crypt. Thank you very much. Like, bro, I, it literally just hit me. That was basically his way of responding to Jello, because in Jello's diss track, he says some some line about, like, who do you know that shoots their own diss track? So, I, so in the beginning of this video, you guys will probably watch a clip that's going to actually include that part. Now that I've just realized it, and that was his way of saying, like, yeah, I could shoot my own diss track. Boom, green screen. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, okay, I respect that. Actually, makes it. It's like the the, the whole build up of it, and not just the diss and the lyrics of it, but the whole thing. That's dope. Okay, like I, you, you gotta respect it. You gotta respect it. Who else, I'm dude? out. Who else is? Who else is? I'm done with diss tracks. I am fully done. 
So this has been me reacting to your reactions. Uh, you know, first of all, thank you very much to reacting to these. And hang on, Dwayne, I like you, man. Subscribe. To everyone that I have reacted to today as well, I will leave all your links in my description. If you did really like somebody, go ahead and subscribe to them as well. They fully deserve it. And yeah, so I'm done with this track season. This is my official video to say sort of like I'm, I'm stepping out. As much as I feel like this track season is over, I am still looking forward to the reply that Jallo has. So if he does come out of a video, I'll definitely be reacting to it. But as far as replying goes, I'm done with diss tracks. So if you are new to this channel and this video, you know, it might have popped up and you're suggested, please do have a look at some of my other videos that aren't just reactions or diss tracks. Because every now and then, I do like to take you guys on behind the scenes of what happens on a big project. So like the other day, KSI Beerus, did a whole behind the scenes on that make sure to check it out so yeah keep up to date with me as well you can follow all my social links instagram and twitter hit me up on there and i'll see you guys on the next one what do you mean with my same fucking team why did it look like that why did it look like what do you mean sing it how i mean what do you what do you mean i'll be like i'll be like whoa there bro i ain't trying to go there go there no i'm sitting in my own chair thinking to myself like how does the flow sound so clear